What's up guys, Takedown here with another story time video for you. I'm enjoying making these videos and that's why I want to, uh, going forward in 2018, continue with this series. Whether or not it gets the success, I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos too. Today, however, is going to be one that I didn't plan on. I'm just basically going to go uh, really quick. Um, everything else I thought about kind of stuff that I wanted to say in the video but this one here is kind of an unknown. It is um, basically me talking about how I got my license. Um, and I got it late, later than most people my age. So I live in Canada. And how getting your license works is once you're 16, you can go and write your G1 test, which is uh, the written test. After that, you have one year. Um, of driving and then you can go for your G2 which is your first road test now you could go and um, do some of the the driving courses uh, go to the driving school and you can get it after eight months um, I didn't do that but I never went for my G1 license until I was 17 I loved cars and everything at the time but I wasn't interested, I didn't have no interest in getting my license. Years later, I realized, uh, after thinking about it, why haven't I got my license? In my head, I determined the reason why is because when I was really young, probably 03, something like that, I was in an accident, even though it wasn't a bad accident, I wasn't hurt or anything. I think that might have triggered a memory. And also, going into the 8th grade, no, going into the 7th grade, my parents were into a really bad car accident, um, survived, but they had a lot of damage. Mom uh, got hit in the head, dad hurt his wrist. Dad hasn't worked, uh, I think he got let go a year or two after and he hasn't worked since, so it's been tough and everything. I think that's why I was so late getting my license. But in 27, 2017, whoa, screw that up. When I was 17, I went and got the written part of my license. Then I started to drive here and there started to get better. I was terrible at first, but I was decent. One of my problems I have is driving with two hands. I knew going for my G2, I had to drive with two hands on the wheel. I love driving with one. And now that I got my G2, I drive with one. But let's kind of go into um, getting my G2, which is a terrible story. But I'm going to share it with you guys because I think you guys deserve to know. And you might get a laugh out of it to know my driving abilities then as opposed to now. Mostly when I went for my test, I was just scared that day. Not not scared, but the guy I was that was testing me was an ass, didn't say anything, and was strict in his tone of voice. Everything, it, it, it gave me the wrong vibe. So when I started the, to drive, um, this was 2017, March 2017. So I had my G1 for three years. And then finally, I just said, screw it. I booked it. It was free because I, I, whenever you pay for your G1, you're also paying for your G2 road test. But since I failed, I had to pay for it for the second time. But the first time I went, I didn't do too bad. One, the, one of the first mistakes I did was I forgot to set the parking brake whenever I did the hill, uh, the emergency stop as if it was a hill or an incline or something. I turned my steering wheel the right way, but I forgot to set the parking brake. So I didn't think that was a, a big fail, but what I did when I did my parallel parking, um, I did okay going in, but what happened whenever I went to leave, there was a little bit of traffic. So um, number one, I had it in park and whenever I went to leave, I kind of revved the engine. That was a fail for that part because I revved the engine, the gears were set wrong. Um, and then whenever it came time to go, when it was clear, I put it in reverse to back up. Because whenever I parked, I went in, went forward. So whenever I it was time to go, I backed up and I waited for the traffic to go. And I forgot to put it in forward. So whenever I kind of went on the gas, we started going backwards. And that freaked me out. So I stepped on the gas and then stepped on the brake. Luckily, there was nothing behind us. And then went... But that was the major fail I did. I also wasn't checking my blind spot or anything like that. So that was kind of the only thing which he freaked me out. That's my 
it's my fault, but I, I blame kind of blame that a little bit for it because the situation at hand. So it wasn't that I was scared to go back, but I just never thought about going back to get my G2. When I went time, I tried booking it, I tried booking it, I tried booking it. Tried booking it with my parents' credit card, didn't work. Tried using my bank card, didn't work. Um, I booked one, and then all of a sudden it said that one was um, already taken up, so I tried it again. Then the website started crashing. What I managed to do, I didn't ask them, but one of my coworkers, um, who's who's like one of my closest friends, I consider her my uh, a second mother. She, while we're at work, she went, she put her credit card in. That's how I booked my uh, test, and I basically just I gave her the money for it. It was fifty dollars and something, which I thought. Jesus, that's quite a bit for just to go for your test again, but it is what it is. Whenever I went back for it again, this was November because I knew I wanted to do it before winter. I wanted to get my license before winter because in my mind, I wanted to get a car before winter. I wanted to be able to be, I wanted to be able to drive myself in the winter. I didn't want to f walk again in the winter. Um, so I went for my test. Not as freaked out. I was calm the whole time. One thing I didn't do, um, this time for the hill parking, I didn't turn my wheels the right way. I didn't turn my wheels at all. But um, I did set the parking brake. And then whenever we went off uh, to the next thing, he asked for a three-point turn. Whenever I did my three-point turn, I acknowledged that the previous thing, I didn't turn my steering wheel the right way. And I'm like, crap, I'm probably going to fail. I didn't turn them the right way. So he asked me, well, which way would you have turned them? So I told him it was the right answer. <clears throat> so he managed, he, whenever I, uh, at the end, he, I checked and he just check marked it off as if I did it because I acknowledged that I didn't do it. And I told him the right things I would have done. Second thing, I was way under the speed limit. The previous guy that I did the test back in March told me um, 30 miles an hour. I was going 25 that day in the, the town portion of it because it was raining, like it was pouring out. Um, so he told me, you're going 25, you should be going 30. To me, I was like five, uh, five kilometers, really? You're going to ding me on that, but whatever. So I was going 30 that day. Turns out I'm actually supposed to be going 50. So he kept just reminding me once in a while, you should be going faster. So that was the biggest flaw. He said, um, nothing else really happens bad. I did my parallel parking perfect. Not the first time. Whenever I backed in, my uh, the back of the vehicle, the ass end was out too far. And it, whenever you do your test, once you put it in park, that's final. I didn't put it in park yet. So I just said, okay, I'm, I got to do this again. It's not in park. Screw you, I'm doing this again. You're not marking this one. So I went, did the second one perfect, passed me. Got up to the light. There's a truck there. We're here. Uh, construction vehicle right on the corner, so you couldn't see much. I could just see down the sidewalk, so I knew there was a truck coming. As I'm stopped there, the guy says, um, why aren't you going? So I waited a second. I said, because there's a truck going right here. He's like, oh, okay. He's like, you did a good call. How did you see it? I said, right down the sidewalk. I was looking there whenever I seen him. So he, he was happy that I did that. This was kind of one of those pop-ups that nobody was expecting. He didn't have it planned. But because I knew what to do, um, that's why I passed that portion. So whenever I went up, I creeped up, seen more vehicles coming. Um, so I let them go. Then there's a vehicle turning, let it go, and then it was my turn. He says I did really well on that. There's some minor things, but honestly, I'm a... Good driver now. I just had screw ups whenever I did my test the first time, but I think it's mostly because I was scared. I'm really, in my opinion, a good driver. Safe driver. Enjoy driving. It is winter, winter however. It's January right now uh, as I'm recording this. Probably not going to have this out until February, maybe March. But I got my license in November because I didn't want to do it over the winter, which you guys probably don't blame me for that. Now I have a year until next November to get my next part of my license. Um, to get my, uh, the full G license. And what that is, is highway driving. I'm probably going to do it either in November if the roads are good, or I'll do it in the spring. Cause I know I have until August to do it. Then my license is going to be, um, expired. Once it's expired, I have to go through this whole process again with getting my G1, then going back, getting my G2, and I really don't want to do it. That's why I put forward the effort of going and getting my G2 when I did. 
But as for getting a vehicle, I plan on getting one for winter. I'm going to look for one for spring. And what I hope to get, I would love to get a 2018 vehicle. Leaning towards Mitsubishi Lancer. Honestly, I might just say screw it. If I can find a really good one that doesn't need any work. Uh, an older vehicle, maybe a 2010 or up. I, I'm good with that. I'm hoping like a, 20, a 2014, 2015 and up. Um, something nice, something reasonable, something cheap. I have money saved. But I don't want a lemon. I don't want something I have to put a lot of work into. But anyways, this is the eighth story time on my channel. Really hope you guys are enjoying the series because I am enjoying making it. I am enjoying sharing my life with you guys, sharing experiences with you guys. And for the most part, I think you guys are enjoying this too. But I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys did enjoy. Take care. And story time nine. Um... As long as I'm continuing to do it weekly every Tuesday and long as unless work uh, is affecting that. I will see you guys next week with another story time video. Take care. Peace.